Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your Windows folder options. And when I say folder options, it applies to how things are viewed when you open up your Windows Explorer slash File Explorer. Um, there's many things you could change here. I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to show you some of the main things, and then you could check out the rest and see if there's anything you'd like to change for yourself. So once you open your Windows Explorer, or sometimes it's called File Explorer, depending on your version of Windows, and sometimes they're called both, it seems. So you might have a, you know, an icon here for File Explorer. You could right-click on your Start menu, open Windows Explorer, see, you know, it has both. And then when you open it, you'll have your PC with all your items down here for your desktop and documents and all your drives, CD-ROM, flash drives, uh, network, and so on. And so to get to your folder options, you want to go to the View menu here, and then go to Options, and then Change Folder and Search Options. Then you have your folder options here. And there's three tabs, General, View, and Search. So on the General tab, this one here is kind of interesting because when you open File Explorer, you could either have it open right to this PC, which is the view I'm looking at now, or you could have it open to your Quick Access bar here. And the Quick Access bar, or I shouldn't say bar, but menu item, um, this is like commonly accessed folders that you go to. It'll add them there on its own. And you could also add folders to that by dragging it in there if you want to have something you know, so if you want to have all your favorite stuff listed there, you could go ahead and add it right there. And it'll be easier to get to rather than having to, you know, go f browse through and find where you want to go. So, okay, so back to the options, which closed itself. Okay, so next we have these options here, the browse folders. Um, so when you open a folder, I'm just going to have to open and close this every time apparently. So clean this up here so see how when I'm opening a folder it opens in a new or actually I should say the same window yes this is getting old having to do this but we're gonna have to do it this way <laughs> um, you could change if you want it to open in the same window or its own window kind of like when you use a web browser and then items here like you know single click to open a file compared to double click I prefer double click because single click you find yourself accidentally opening files because you just click on it once and then here's some privacy options where you want to show your recently used items in the quick access bar or not. And then you could clear your history and so on. And the view tab is what I like to go to for one main thing here. So if you'll notice right here, you know, I have file extensions for everything. All the files, exe, ini, xml, inf. So by default, Windows likes to leave those off except for certain types of files. So what I like to do is to turn that on for all files. And that is Oh, here it is. I couldn't find it there. So this will be checked by default. So I like to uncheck this and then click apply to all folders. So that way it'll it'll apply to all folders you open afterwards because if you just do it for for this one folder, it'll just apply to that one folder. And then you could apply it and okay and you should be good to go on every folder from now on you should be able to see your file extension so that's one I like to do all the time and you know obviously the ones that are checked here are good to have like show drive letters and so on and the status bar and sharing wizard and so on and there's not much else you really want to change in here sometimes I like to change this so if you're a kind of advanced user you want to see your hidden folders I like to do that but if you're not you might want to leave them hidden so you don't mess up anything on accident and if you want to change, you know, your file icons for your thumbnails and that kind of thing, you could change, this, change that. So you could play around with here. And if you mess something up, you could just go back and click on Restore Default and get it back to the way it was. And then finally, there's the Search tab. So when you're doing a search for something up here, um, this will kind of control some of your options here, such as don't use the index when searching. So normally Windows will index your file system. So when you do searches, you'll get instant results rather than having it, not, I shouldn't say instant, but quicker results. So you don't have to wait a long time for it to search everything because it'll search all your indexed files. And lots of times it'll only index your C drive, but you could turn that on for your other drives too. And then when you're searching non-indexed locations, you could have it search you know, system directories rather than um, just your non-system directories, I should say. And if you have zip files, you could have it search within the zip files for certain folders, because by default it won't. And like I said, once again, you could do restore default if you mess something up. 
So yeah, that's about it for folder options. But like I said, you know, the main ones I like to change are from here. Just, you know, this one here, decide if you want quick access or this PC, I would kind of leave these default. And then for the view, like I said, I like to do this if you're an advanced user and then uncheck this if you're even not an advanced user because it's good to be able to see your file extensions like for Word documents if you want to see if it's a Word document if you don't know the icon you know you want to see the DOCX on the end and that type of thing or for images JPG or PNG so you know what type it is so just uncheck that and then click apply to all folders and OK and you should be good to go so once again you get to this menu from the view menu up here options change folder and search options and that's about it all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe Thank mm -hmm. you.